In our last session, we read a letter from a woman whose mother is insisting that she marry a Hispanic boy. And the mother won't even invite her boyfriend, who is not Hispanic, over for the traditional Sunday dinner every week. I told her that she has a choice here. She could spend the rest of her life being controlled by her mother, which would leave both her and her mother miserable. Or she could decide to make her own choices in life. Now, back to the writer of the letter. I'm going to assume that you want to make your own choices in life only because the other way is guaranteed to be miserable. You wouldn't be happy and neither would your mother. Everybody would lose. So what can you do? You seem to be serious about Mark, so the choice is really pretty obvious. You're not a little girl anymore. You're establishing your own family, which means spending time with the man who will be your partner. It also means establishing in everyone else's mind, including yours, and your mother's that you have a partner. So sit down with your mother and say to her, mom or whatever you call her, I know you wanted me to marry a Hispanic boy, but at this point I'm serious about Mark and I'll be spending most of my time with him, including Sundays. So at this point we're a couple and you have a choice. You can love me and support me by inv inviting both of us over on Sundays or I'll be spending Sundays with him away from the family. Now, I would prefer to spend time with you on Sunday, but this will be your choice. If you choose not to invite him, you're also choosing to keep me away from the family, and that would be sad. So what do you want to do? She's playing this game with you to control you. And when she realizes that she can't do that, that she can't control you, she might give up the game with you. If she doesn't, then when you don't come to Sunday dinner for a few weeks, you might have the same conversation with her again. Just try the same thing again. Don't be the least bit angry or confrontational with her, or she'll just become stubborn and difficult just to show you how powerful she can be to get that control again. And she'll make decisions that she'll regret. If she keeps not inviting Mark, you might ask her what she's going to do if you marry Mark. Will she not include him in the family? Will she turn away her grandchildren? Again, no confrontation, no anger. But if you give in to this game that she's playing, you'll be controlled for the rest of your life and you will not like that. Whatever decision she makes, you keep loving her. No anger, no resentment. Over time, real love has a way of melting monsters. Always choose to love her over trying to manipulate her or force her to see things your way. And enjoy your relationship with Mark without feeling guilty.